All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, this is a P. Uh, I... Forgive me. I'm fairly tired. It is one something in the morning here. This is a video for your PlayStation Portable devices running on custom firmware, uh, 5.50. Um, depending on which one you're using. Now it's for PSP 1000 models and 2000 models. This was not yet for the 3000 models yet, but right now, um. In case you're wondering, this is my girlfriend, <laughs> but um, as of right now, um, a lot of people want to update their firmware, and um, they're getting this error message called, there is no need to update, error code 836, blah, 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 and it says you're already at the current version of 9.90. Now, the reason because of this is because the version text that's in your flash zero says 9.90. Now, I'm going to take the PSP and I'm going to show you how to solve this problem so we don't have to downgrade to a different firmware to get it to read a lower firmware where you can just do it yourself. So, um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn on my PSP. And I'm running on 6.39 Pro B7 right now. But I'm just going to show you where to locate this file. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit select on uh, your PSP and access your VSH menu. All custom firmers have a VSH menu, whether it be a pro VSH menu or a regular VSH menu, do so as you will. And scroll down to your uh, USB device, and it should say memory stick. That's the basic one. Well, we're going to click right on the directional pad once. So click the right arrow once, and you're going to wait until it says flash zero. And then just hit select to exit your VSH menu. Once you've done that, connect your PSP into USB mode like so. So you connect the PSP into USB. Now you notice that in autoplay or nothing comes up. So what you're going to do is go to start and go to computer and open up your folders. Now you're going to open up the removable drive for your PSP and you're going to see these four folders here. Notice that it's different than your memory stick. This is because you're accessing the flash on the PSP. So what you're going to do now is open up the VSH folder. Now you're going to open up these, you're going to see these two folders. You're going to see resource and ETC. If you look back at one of my older videos where we were doing custom RCO files, this is where you install the, um, the game boots and other graphic options that you can change manually yourself. Instead of loading up the CXMB and creating a custom theme, you can do it this way. But we're going to leave that alone, and you're going to go and open up the ETC folder, the etc. folder, and you're going to see the version text document. Double click on that version text document and open it up and you're going to see it read this release colon 6.39 colon now the 6.39 is the firmware you're on yours if you're having that 9.90 error message yours is going to say release colon 9.90 so what you're going to want to do is seeing that you're on custom firmware 5.50 you're gonna take that, like, if it lets me, or not, hell of a time for you not to respond. Okay, so you're gonna highlight that, and instead of, let's say it said 9.90, instead of the 9.90, you're gonna backspace and delete all that, and you're just gonna put 5.50, just like that. Mine, however, is 6.39, so I'm just going to change it to 6.39 for my firmware. But you're going to want to put it on 5.50 for your firmware. Now, usually the problem occurs when you have Prometheus. So if you're looking to update your firmware, then do so. And I'm just not going to save that because I didn't do any changes. But that's how you fix it. So then after that, you can just go into your PSP and... Uh, install my updater that I have a video and link for you and um, ba -ba -ba -ba. all you're gonna do is simply just put that installer on your PSP and you will be able to update your PSP no problem so that's how that runs and that's how you fix the error message with the 9.90 firmware that is already up to date even though you're already running on 5.50 so like I said, just change, oh, and before, 
you even end anything, be sure to change your USB device back to the memory stick on your VSH menu. So just go back and hit select, change it back, and then select to exit your VSH, and you're all set to go. So that solves that problem. I just wanted to get that out of the way tonight. So, uh, yeah, so take it easy, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Keep watching my videos. Keep up to date. If you got any questions, leave me a comment. Send me a message. I'll always reply. And as always, keep watching. So, um, yeah, that's that. I will have a description in the information below on how to do this uh, by reading it so you can use that as reference and you can also use this video. Take it easy guys and I hope this helps you.